You know what would be great? Okay, go. What? What would be, what would be good? I think you should do something like give uh -huh. a ghost uh, yeah. on your cooking channel. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Give a ghost pepper to your son. No. That'd be so funny. No. Yeah, it'd be great. I'd love to see that. I have thought about doing like a spice challenge on the, on our channel, but... That's not a... But like you? I don't know. Because I, I would be out automatically. <laughs> 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 Jalapeno. Ah! <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you call us on Instagram. Instagram. Look at our favorite juicy content. They go on Patreon. Follow us on the account. Resolve on the case score. Uh, uh, oh, personal YouTube channel, links all in the description below. I mean, it would make for great content for sure, but I also don't like putting myself through pain. Right. Which is what happens when I eat anything spicy. Uh, uh, good Mythical Morning, you've watched them do their, oh, it's so funny, but I don't know that I would ever want to experience that. I would Although, do I ha have you ever had, you've never had a ghost pepper? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've hardly had a I jalapeno have, pepper. I have, not a whole thing, but I've, I've sliced it. And it's not, it's, it's not a level of heat, it's a, it's a measure of pain. Yeah. It's just how much pain you feel. Don't like it. Yeah. Today we're doing a little bit of an informational video. Great. Uh, it's about, oh God, I don't want to mispronounce the name, but. Uh, Sam Smith. What was wrong? That was really not that hard. Yeah, it's a Okay. Uh, it's the, forgive me if I mispronounce this. Rahadiswara Temple. In Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu. Ancient wonder of India. India. The, so I think this is just the Hadiswara Temple. This is just an informational video about this temple. Cool. Um, so it's, I believe, the History Channel's site. So I have a prediction. Yes. It'll be a British woman narrating. Building construction may nope. actually high tech equipment. Totally close. Close. तभी तो दुबई का बुर्ज खलीफा टोक्यो का स्काई ट्री जैसे मॉडर्न मॉवल्स देखने को मिलते हैं पर जब क्रेन जैसे एडवांस इक्विपमेंट और ट्रांसपोर्टेशन टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं थी तब भी इंडिया में कुछ हैरान कर देने वाले आर्किटेक्चरल स्ट्रक्चर्स बने थे तंजावुर तमिलनाडु यहाँ है भगवान शिव का एक हजार साल पुराना हृदेश्वर मंदिर और इस मंदिर की बनावट यानी आर्किटेक्चर इसे बनाता है ओ एम जी ये मंदिर द्रविडीन आर्किटेक्चर का बेमिसाल उदाहरण है जिसे बनाया था राजा राजा चोला फर्स्ट ने दो सौ सोलह फीट हाइट वाला ये मंदिर बना है करीब एक लाख तीस हजार टन ग्रेनाइट से और चौंकाने वाली बात यह है कि तंजावुर के आसपास करीब साठ किलोमीटर तक और ना ही पत्थरों की चट्टान ये भारी भरकम पत्थर यहाँ आए कहाँ से कहते हैं कि तीन हजार हाथियों की मदद से मिलों दूर से इन पत्थरों को यहाँ लाया गया था यहाँ का आर्किटेक्चर इंटरलॉक या पजल टेक्निक पर बना है अब आप पजल मत हुई डिटेल में सुन लेते हैं हमारे गाइड सेल्वम जी ऐसी पजल टेक्निक का मतलब है एक पत्थर पर दूसरे पत्थर को जमाना वो भी बिना किसी सीमेंट या प्लास्टर का इस्तेमाल किए यानी दो पत्थरों के बीच कुछ भी नहीं होता है ये देखा गया है कि कई पुराने ऊंचे मॉन्यूमेंट जैसे लंदन की बिग बैन इटली का लीनिंग टावर वक्त के साथ टिल्ट हो रहे हैं लेकिन हजार साल बाद भी ब्रदेश्वर मंदिर बिल्कुल सीधा है इसकी वजह है मंदिर का पजल या इंटरलॉक टेक्निक इसकी एक और वजह है इस मंदिर का आधार जो इतना चौड़ा है कि इतने ऊंचे मंदिर को इतने सालों से एकदम सीधा रखा है एक और खास बात ये भी है कि इसे बिना नीव खोदे बनाया गया है यानी प्लेन लैंड पर डूड क्या सुपर आर्किटेक्चर है यार मान गए दोस्तों इस मंदिर के सबसे ऊपर रखा पत्थर जिसे कुंभम कहते हैं एटी टन यानी करीब 81,000 किलो का सिंगल स्टोन है भारी सिंगल पत्थर इसके ऊपर कैसे रखा हो यही जानने के लिए हमने भी एक एक्सपेरिमेंट किया छह आदमियों को इस 350 किलो के पत्थर को खिसकाने को कहा आइए देखते हैं लगाओ भाई और जोर लगाओ अरे लगाओ नहीं हो पाएगा रहने तो बच्चों तुमसे नहीं हो पाएगा कोई मजाक थोड़ी ना है उस जमाने में जब कोई क्रेन वगैरह नहीं थी इस कुंभम को ऊपर कैसे पहुंचाया आइए मैं आपको बताता हूँ 
इस पत्थर को ऊपर पहुंचाने के लिए उन्होंने करीब छह किलोमीटर का रैंप बनाया था हाथी घोड़ों बैल और मजदूरों ने मिलकर इस मंदिर के ऊपर तक इस पत्थर को पहुंचाया ओ एम जी ये सुनकर तो मुझे भी पसीने आ रहे हैं यहाँ की एक और हैरानी चीज है ये पुल जी की शान की सवारी इन्हें भी एक ही पत्थर से कार्व करके बनाया गया है हाइट है तेरह फीट यानी बास्केटबॉल कोर्ट में लगे रिंग से भी ऊंची जरा सोचिए इस बुल को कार्व करने में कितना टाइम लगा होगा एक हजार साल पुराने तंजावुर के भ्रदेश्वर मंदिर के मैग्निफिसेंट आर्किटेक्चरल मार्बल को मैं नमन करता हूँ इसे देखकर अपने मुंह से सिर्फ एक ही चीज निकलती है ओ एम जी ये मेरा इंडिया ये मेरा इंडिया That was. <laughs> it's one of those things. That well, obviously the first thing that strikes me is is the, just the, the way they were able to carve all those beautiful. Yeah, you know, just the hand carving. Just the hand carving yeah. is so impressive to yeah, me. Yeah, I agree. But, under all that, the, the, it's the same thing that's so mind-boggling about the pyramids. Obviously. Yeah. How the hell did you do this? Right. One will well, slaves, as we know. I mean, <laughs> well, actually, I've heard like theories, different theories. Like it was, like it was like their tax to work on like the the pyramids and stuff. Like in order to um, live there, they were you had to do that. Do that as your payment. It was your payment, but it's still technically slavery. Yeah, still, yeah. Uh, but forced <laughs> labor. <laughs> That's just a, a theory. Come I've on, didn't they have any unions back then? For pity's sake. Anyways, but did he say they they built an incline and it took them six years to get it up? I guess that's what they're theorizing. They're theorizing based on the weight and how many animals it would take, and it wasn't. Why just, would it take six years? It, I don't think it was just for the actual getting it to the top. It was the actual creation of a hill that could take that much weight and not collapse under the weight of it going up the hill. Oh, so they had to build a hill. So they had to build. They had to bring but in. Then they all, had to get rid of the hill. Correct. Ooh. So I think from start to finish. That whole endeavor to get that 81 ton thing to the top of it was a six year process from building the ramp to tearing it all down and getting it out of there. Oh, that's so exhausting. <laughs> I'm tired just thinking about it. I know. That. Oh, that's awful, but it's beautiful. It's one of those things, obviously, whenever we can get out of America again, um, which isn't soon. Uh. <laughs> well, it's, and it is one of the things I talk to Indrani about all the time. It's, it's comical that when you talk to someone in India about their history and their buildings and the things that they have, the majority of them are older than our nation. <laughs> Most things in the world well, are. Yeah, because we're, we're such a youngest, baby place. We're one of the youngest countries. And especially the West Coast, because in America, everything started on the East, so the youngest place and the youngest country is over here on the West Coast. Well, technically the youngest is, I believe, uh, Hawaii? Well, yeah. Or is it Alaska? No, Hawaii would be the youngest in every way imaginable because it's also the earliest, the youngest creation on the planet of actual landmass. That's true. So, yeah, it's Hawaii. Hawaii wins. <laughs> Which, we I stole have, it. I have, America! I have a question. Yeah. How did it get populated? Um, the, um... Polynesians, obviously, from somewhere just no, they, happened on it? Yeah, they were they were traveling and they... they and they just happened on it. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's an amazing... That's like finding a needle in a haystack. And then America was like, mine. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> America! America. You see that? I'm gonna pee on it. It's yeah. mine. At least we made them a state unlike one of our other territories. We are not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> America is terrible. <laughs> Dina, <laughs>